Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with the first look at Windows 8.1. It might sound like a minor upgrade, but this latest version of Windows brings quite a few very nice changes. To start with, the modern UI has been cleaned up a good bit. You can now change the background to match your normal desktop, making it much smoother to switch between the two. The live tiles are also more customizable just like Windows Phone, allowing you to resize them and organize them into groups. Unlike before, you can now actually get to a lot of settings without leaving the modern UI, which should be especially helpful for tablets. One of the biggest things I noticed is just how fast everything is. Windows 8 was already snappy, but 8.1 seems to smooth things out farther, even if you're using a standard hard drive. If you're just looking to quickly jump into something, a new app page sorts everything out nicely, a bit like how the old start menu used to work. Speaking of, the Windows button is back. Personally, I didn't miss it too much. I mean, the Windows key is a thing for a reason, but it works just like you'd expect, bringing you back to the modern UI. You can also get access to some helpful system toggles by right-clicking it, which is a lot more convenient than before. In general, Microsoft has done a lot to bring Windows back to being more like 7 for desktop users, including giving you the option to disable the annoying hot corners. One of the big advantages Windows 8 has over other tablets is great multitasking, and 8.1 improves here as well, allowing you to resize your apps however you like. To be honest, I wish Android and iOS would steal this already, it really is useful. Bing is also heavily integrated into Windows 8.1 and, I can't believe I'm about to say this, it's actually not terrible. If you tap the Windows key or open up the modern UI and start typing, it'll automatically start a general search for everything, including apps and files on your PC. It can also pull results from the standard Bing search alongside apps in the Windows Store and more. Do a search for a celebrity or point of interest and you'll get much more info, which is surprisingly really helpful. If you're a PC gamer, Windows 8.1 also includes support for DirectX 11.2 shared from the Xbox One, which brings some new features for games with improvements for things like shaders as well as more performance out of APUs. The Windows 8.1 preview is available from the Microsoft Now as a free update to Windows 8, with the final release scheduled for later this year. It's still early, but it seems relatively stable if you want to give it a shot. Overall, Windows 8.1, while not a massive update, fixes almost all the major issues I had with Windows 8 and even adds some useful features along the way. If you're still holding out on Windows 7, it very well might be worth a look. If you're interested in more, feel free to check out my hands-on of the Xbox One, and if you enjoyed, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.